Hello box setters. welcome to the instructional video for the American football helmet and ball. You can see we've got the ball up there at the top, we've got the grill for the, um, on the face of the helmet. We've got our little man that we've made, uh, our little player that we've made there already, ready to pop his helmet on. And we'll start off like we always do by sort of cutting out some of the, um, some of the smaller bits so that when we cut through the get to the trickier bits we've not got big sort of like bits of paper that we've got to cut around or, or that'll get in our way so let's pop that bit over there we need to keep that bit remember keep a nice tidy crafting table, crafting bench, crafting area. And we're going to trim off the um, wall here. Remember, keep try and keep those scissors nice and straight. Move the paper around the scissors. If you move the scissors around the paper, you can get your top hands sort of caught in awkward positions and that can affect the way that you cut along your lines. So you just take your time with those cuts, nice and steady, nice and slow. Make sure you stay on those cut lines and you'll get a better quality paper toy. There's the ball all ready to have a bit more of a trim later on, but we're going to concentrate on the helmet for now. And Going around those curves. I think it's the curves where keeping your scissors straight really helps because then you can turn the piece of paper nice and slowly and get a really nice curve. You can really follow that line really well. You'll notice on that middle bit, sort of like the center part of the um, helmet where the numbers are, where the numbers are, there's no folds along there. And there's no folds along there because that's where we're going to um, sort of bend it around um, the sides of the helmet and onto taps so we get a sort of a, a rounded, the, a roundedness to the helmet rather than it being sort of all at right angles. Trim those bits off there. You can see the um, the helmet's white with a bit of red trim. But if you have a look in um, the uh, my box head paper crafts store, um, you'll see all sorts of different American football colours. Now this bit is a bit tricky, and you saw me just outlining sort of where we're going to cut with that. Hopefully, I don't go too far off camera. There we go, and back. Now this cut line it goes all the way around, and we're sort of we're getting rid of that um, middle white piece. You can see there's some dotted lines. Then I'm going to come up to right about right about now there. See those dotted lines from the white of the helmet onto that little red tab. And there we go. We're going to cut that central centre bit out. Move that over there. Uh, but yeah, if red and white, um, a red and white um, American football strip isn't your thing, there's a lot more different colours in the um, in my box of Pepcraft store. Lots of different um, uniform combinations. I'm sure there's uh, one or more in there just for you, or for family, or friends. Spread the word. Spread the crafting word that these fun paper toy American football paper crafts have been made. Getting in those tricky little bits there. Take that bit out. And you see when I was talking about the um, the centre bit with the um, where there's no fold lines because it just sort of bends around the helmet. 
you can see just where I'm cutting now this a little red tab and there's three of those on each side of the helmet we're gonna use those to line things up with that big curve and to help us stick the central bit to the sides of the helmet so I've done one side and round to another side just like that don't be afraid to sort of take your scissors completely out of um, the cutting area if you find that things are looking a little bit tricky and you're worried that your scissors are going to get stuck or caught on the paper toy just pull them out like that turn the paper around and shuffle your scissors back into place nice and steady on that curve don't go all the way through because the cut line goes around there for another another little tab so move our rubbish out of the way keep our bench nice and tidy and yeah there's not just um, different colours and styles of American football paper toys in the store um, th those you do need to buy you need to purchase and then download and print but there's a whole bunch of um, different colours and styles of um, paper toy heads as well that you'll need to download. They're free to download. There's all sorts of different ones in there. You can download those as many as you want, as many times as you want, as long as it's for personal use, of course. And you can match them up with all the different styles of American football paper toy um, that you can. We've got blues and greens and yellows and all sorts of different combinations. So go and have a look and have, have hours of crafting fun. It is. There's something sort of really, um, really quite therapeutic about crafting and crafting this way as well. It's just scissors and, and paper, but um, yeah, taking a bit, taking a bit of time and, and a bit of concentration and a little bit of skill as well. Um, you can turn how many pieces of paper is this? One for the body, one for the head, one for the helmet. Three pieces of paper, and you can turn that flat paper into a wonderful little paper toy character. Finishing off, that's a, a you can see that red tab that's to hold the uh, back of the helmet in place. And then we've just got uh, a few more tabs to cut around, and a few bits off. Nice and careful, get those scissors lined up properly. Move them around the back of the paper if you need to. And you can sort of see there, you don't have to trim off the whole cut line either. You don't have to go right up to where the colour is. There we go, a few more little bits. Cut that, trim that, take that off. And we'll be ready for folding soon. Get that out of the way. We don't need that. Just that last little bit on the bottom of that tab. Snip that off. Put that in the rubbish pile. And there we go. We're ready to start folding. So we'll fold those little tabs in first, I think. One, two, and three that are in the centre of central, central part of the helmet. Same with the other ones on the other side. One, two and three there we go and then there's a few tricky folds on here so watch closely and, and follow along as much as you can that first one's nice and big and long and so is that second one that um that just that fold there and you can see sort of like the red on the other side that just gives you a little bit of extra color and style for the helmet um, whereas that tab there that's a bit more for um function 
and the same with this bit here as well although it adds a little bit of um, colour to the underside and the inside of the helmet it is very much about sort of um, joining the two sides of the helmet together as you'll see once we've folded this side in as well so just bend the paper over and then press it together with your fingers you don't need to make a sharp crease a sharp fold that's the tab for the back of the helmet and then that inner tab there's a little one there that goes that way and then that one goes the same way but then this fold takes that whole red sort of tabbed area into the center and you'll see how that bends around the back there but then around the front it's a little bit tricky it's a little bit fiddly but you see those red bits match together like that and then those tabs there will tuck into the inside of the helmet Let's see what's going on. Come back on camera. Come on. Oh, oh, and we're getting the tape out already. So line it up, match it up, and then fold some tape over where we have one of those little tabs. And you can just about see, I've got another little tab that I'm sticking together. And then we hold it there, and if you can see that, yep, you can just see how that's tucked just underneath rim of the helmet and we have some tape stuck to the side there and then it folds over onto the front like so and that will happen on the other side as well I'm just going to put a bit of tape on that um, that red area there that I mentioned before you can just see there there's another one on the other side as well stick that in there that just gives a little bit more um, colour to the helmet but now I'm going to stick the other side of the helmet down so that's the the top front of the helmet so the bit that's um, just above the eyes so i'm just matching up those tabs and lining up the helmet there before i fold the other part of the sticky tape down and try and sort of get those two edges as close as possible so there's an, as little gap as possible a little bit more tape there and then you'll see that, that that's better you can see that a lot clearer there how that folds in onto the inside and makes the inside of that front part of the helmet sturdy so the, the, the brow of the helmet that's that will sort of line up with the eyebrows once it goes on the paper toy head okay more tape on the um, inside of the the um, that red decorative part there just gives the helmet a little bit more makes it a little bit thicker a little bit sturdier as well a little bit on that side just on the end there around where the sort of the jawline is sort of the jaw of the helmet same on that side as well those two that doesn't actually make any sort of three-dimensional shape it just flattens and gives both sides a bit of color Okay, around to the back of the helmet, and you can see there's a little tab just in there. We've just put some tape around and over the end of that, and then there's the bigger flap that I've tucked in and lined up around the back. Put the tape on the side and then fold it round to the back, and then there's that final little tab down the bottom near the Boxhead Papercrafts logo. You can stick and then just fold around there. Do the same on the other side, just tuck that little tab in and line it up, just shuffle the paper down a little bit. See how it's um, going around the, the curve of the side of the helmet? At the top there, and then round the, the on the back side there, we've lined it up there. And then we'll tuck that tab onto the inside and curve the helmet round, round right down the very bottom. A little bit more there. And there's our, there's our helmet complete. Well, the main part of the helmet's complete. 
the rhythm of the parts here, that top bit sort of nice and sturdy, but the um, the bottom bit, the jawline, um, needs something a little bit extra to make it look a bit more like a proper American football helmet, an authentic football helmet, and that's some um, grills. Now I've got three, well just three straight rectangles really. that you can cut out and trim down and they've got um, and you fold them in half so that you get um, colour on both sides let's do with this, let's see with this one just pinch the middle of the paper and start to fold it in on itself try not to do it all in one, one straight go the, the folding just sort of bend it in and firm up the, uh, firm up the fold again it doesn't need to be a sharp crisp fold But with these um, the the grill parts, I'd recommend doing all about three three bits of tape. Not too big, not too small. Two or three bits of tape to um, stick everything together, and then we'll go into the second one, and we'll do the third one. But these are going to bend around the helmet. Now they can bend around the helmet in whatever way you choose. Um, but I've found that one of these um, grill parts at the top of the helmet and then two around the jaw make it look like an authentic American football helmet. Like a real proper professional football helmet made of paper. Um, so maybe, yeah, maybe don't wear it to play real American football, just put it on your paper toy American footballer and they can battle it out and see how long the heads last. Oh, there's the second one done. Here's the third one, third and final one. Let's bend that paper, start in the middle, and then just very gently squish those. Squish, it, squish the fold to the end. Make sure those bits lined up. Try and get rid of as much of that white um, inner card as you can, inner paper as you can. And just fold your fold your tape all the way around, so there's no um, there's no stick left. Okay, now this next part is is um, quite tricky, but we'll take it one grill piece at a time. What we're going to do is we're going to sort of like bend bend the end a little bit and sort of like. so that it will bend around the helmet. We'll put a bit of tape around on that side and then this first grill part and it sort of lines up with those uh, the greyer part of the helmet there. You can see that sort of round detail on the, on the um, helmet there. And that grill part lines up with that but it bends around the front. It doesn't go flat to the helmet. There is a, a gap between the helmet and the grill. But you can see there I'm putting the next part on and bending it round and lining it up with that um, grey detail in the helmet there. Stick it down, press it down nice and firmly. But you can see that there's a bend in that grill bit now and you can sort of nudge that along or, or leave it as is if it looks good. That's the top part. And then we'll do a similar thing with these bottom two. There's the first one, just sort of Twist and bend those, the very ends of your um, paper toy strip round, like so. And again, we've got a bit of tape and stick it over there so that you get sticky bits at the top, bottom and side of this next bit. And you can see that sort of like lines up with the other grill bit as far as how far it goes onto the helmet. And bend that um, tape round and then we're going to do the same thing another bit of tape on the other end and that's going to bend round to the other side of the jaw of the helmet it goes in just as far stick it down wrap that cellar tape around and you'll find you get a a nice curve a nice bend there just sort of squish the paper about a little bit so that it flattens out a bit, but not too much. OK, 
can see just there are those grill bits have sort of bent round the paper and um, bent round the um, main part of the helmet. Okay, last grill part. Now this one's going to go on a bit of an angle. I think rather than being straight, I'm just going to have it on a bit of an angle. Fold that tape onto the inside of the helmet so that it sticks. And then it's going to bend round to the other side of the jaw. A bit more tape. Bend it round and match it up to where it was on that side. You might find that the paper starts to sort of separate a little bit, but just start to bend it a little bit more and it will bend into position. It will bend into position, then once you've stuck it down like that, you can go back and you can um, bend the paper a little bit more. You can have a fiddle with it to try and get it straight and symmetrical and lined up properly. See there? That looks pretty good. That looks reasonable. A little bit more maybe. But you can play with that, play around with that as much as you want. Now when it comes to putting the head on your paper toy, depending on which paper toy you've got, you've got to fold his, tuck his ears in, tuck the hair in, and then just slide that helmet on. And there you have it. There's the paper, our paper toy American footballer, complete with helmets, but he's not complete without the ball. We'll come on and uh, we'll get to that soon. Just having a quick view all the way around the, um, the paper toy. Now you can you can stick that helmet down, or you can leave it and take it on and off. Um, that's entirely up to you. But here we go with the. Um, with the paper toy football. Now there's some really small tricky bits that you've got to move your scissors around here. You can see how there's four panels to the ball and then you've got little tabs on the inside of each part of that ball as well. Those tabs help to obviously stick each panel together and then we've got a slightly bigger tab where my thumb is at the moment. There you go, you can see it right on the end there. A bigger tab that sticks, that loops around from the um, from the bottom all the way around to the top and gives a roundness to the um, football. Okay, here's the tricky bit, so it's sort of a few different cuts, but remember, just keep your scissors nice, and try, try and keep your scissors nice and still and straight the scissors shouldn't be moving very much. It should be your opposite, your non-cutting hand that moves and controls that paper around the scissors. Halfway there on this side nearly. And you can see even the ball has, um, has the colours of uh, that team on the red and white each each different coloured uniform will um, have the corresponding colours, the same colours on the ball. So if you get a black and blue American footballer, he'll have black and blue stripes on the ball as well, on the, on the pigskin. I don't think it's still made pigskin the ball. Let us know. Leave a, leave a message in the comments if, if, if the real NFL professional American footballs are still made of pigskin. I very much doubt it. Anyway, continuing on. And it's being nice and careful, taking your time, making sure the scissors are lined up, making sure you're keeping a nice tidy craft table, getting rid of those little scraps of paper that you don't need. Taking your time to trim around those tabs Get your cut lines going straight through the middle of the cut lines that are on the paper. And you can just about make out the um, the fold lines there. The, because the football is obviously a little bit one of the smallest pieces. We've got some pretty small fold lines in there. Most of the fold lines go 
right down the middle of the ball there in between each of our four panels and then the other folds are just for those taps. We'll get on to folding now that we've finished the cutting of the ball. So scissors down, just bend the paper over, just pinch it together to get some nice, nice folds in there. And those little folds on each panel, one on each side. Last ones. Then you see that um, that panel in the middle there that bends and goes all the way around and joins the two sides around it in a sort of loop. And that's where we'll start with the sticking. We'll stick that down first. And then we'll start with one side and tucking that uh, tuck that tab in on the inside. You see it's coming a bit loose there. And we can take our time and line things up. Line that um, the colour bands up together. And we do that on each side. Hopefully you've got smaller hands than me. I've got big, big, chunky dad size hands. But it just shows that with a bit of patience and a bit of a bit of time and a bit of skill, even hands the size of mine can put together fiddly little folded paper American footballs. There we go, there's the last bit of, bit of tape there on that side. See it all comes comes together at a point and then we'll go and we'll do the other side. Just nice and gentle, just take one one tab, one panel at a time, tap on one side, line it up, and then fold it onto the other. And we come to our very last one where you've got to get two tabs, two tabs on the inside, that one there, and then the other one on the side of the panel there on that side. So I line that up, fold it over, and there's your very last one. Steady. And there we go, there's your American toy paper football. Tucks around under the American footballer's little arm there. You can stick it in there if you like with a little bit of extra tape. Um, or you can leave it loose for him to throw and catch and run around with all these other American paper toy buddies. Happy crafting people.